Hello everyone, Relgan here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the CVP matchup. In CVP, if you watch my stream, I open a lot with the 1312 opener, going for super fast speed links into triple expand, or I sometimes I also go for something like two base mutalisk. And today I want to talk to you guys about a different kind of opener that I enjoy, and it it is very very close to the CVT free roach opener so if you guys enjoy this the free roach opener you're going to love this one so let's have a look at the build I'm going for a 17 pool same as the free roach opener I try to go for an 18 hatch if I cannot build the hatch at my natural I take it at my third base this game I'm gonna take it at my natural and then another gas. You can also try to go for an earlier hatch, but this is the exact same build as with the free roach opener. Two drones into the gas. Then I build two links and the queen. Um, the difference, uh, one of the differences here is I like to go for free drones into the gas right away. And also, uh, so I have a few less drones in the minerals. The reason for that is I'm going to open with ravagers and ravagers require a lot of gas. When I go for the free roach opener against Terran, I want to drone up my bases really fast and hit them with a strong two base mutalisk push. In this game, we're going to try and harass our opponent with uh, three, uh, two or three ravagers very early on. I'm going to show you guys two replays and this is replay number one. So, opener is pretty much the same. Saturate your mineral line, build an additional queen, two roaches, build an additional queen, three roaches. But, what I figured is against Protoss it might be beneficial to go for 4 Roaches. Because I feel like Protoss doesn't really have quite a, um, quite a response kit available that that Zerg has, uh, that Terran has. They cannot just build a bunker, I mean they can build shield batteries but I can attack those with Ravager Biles and they cannot repair them with SCVs. So I'm walking across the map with my roaches, whether it's 2, 3 or 4, it doesn't really matter. I went for 4, ro four roaches this game. I'm morphing some ravagers. Um, I morph the ravagers as soon as I can of course. And my goal is to attack some building. If the Protoss builds his cybernetic score this natural, I usually try to snipe his cybernetic score. This time around I'm not able to go for the cybernetic score so I... Try to snipe the Robo instead, and you can see how the Protoss is struggling, right? You can also see that my production is uh, completely empty, because I... I don't know, I was so focused on this, on the micro here. I could have already started my third base. So, this is by no means perfect play, but you can really see the amount of pressure I'm putting on my opponent here. And you can also see how good Ra Roach Ravager and is at sniping buildings. So I sniped that uh, Robo. I'm going for a lair at home. I'm gonna get link speed eventually as well, I think. Uh, the reason why I usually get link speed is once he gets up a sizable amount of stalkers, I can't really do too much. And this guy lost his robotics uh, facility, so that makes the game kind of difficult for me. But at home, I'm just droning up. I'm building. A, I'm getting some safety roaches in case he goes for a very heavy counter. The overlord right here tells me everything my opponent is doing. If I was able to to snipe the cybernetic score, I would be of course in an in, in a really good position as I could have potentially um, delayed his warp gate tech. This game I was not able to do that. My opponent is instead going for a double star gate transition. So the game is gonna continue on here. We snipe that um, that adapt that he sent across the map. He tries to take a third base. I scout it with my speed links after the lay. After the lair, let's rewind a little bit, I'm, I went a little bit too fast there. After my lair is done, right here, I start the spire, like I do with the free roach opener, because I think the spire opens a lot of possibilities for me to go for either corruptors or for mutalisks. Um, going for a baning nest could also help, but I'm just going for the for the kind of traditional um, style that I also use against Terran. So if you play the free roach opener against Terran, in this game I play the game pretty much the same f uh, the same way, except that I'm that I morph Travagers to put pressure on my opponent. I always put uh, morph Travagers when I try to put pressure on my Protoss opponent, unless he already has a Void out or something. And then eventually the Mutalisks hit him. He realizes he only has Oracles and he has to GG out. Of course, if he went for Phoenix, I wouldn't have gone for Mutalisks. 
You should always try to scout what your opponent is doing, but I saw that he was going for um for oracles, so I just morph mutalisks. If my opponent um plays the game differently, and for example follows it up with a Stargate play, I'm gonna show you guys this game. Because because we have to kind of categorize the games a little bit, right? This is my my alt account. I'm I'm known on the ladder as the as the legendary muta man. Um, in this game, I'm going to to play pretty much the same build, but slightly differently. But instead of going for uh, for the mutalisk follow up, I'm gonna keep putting on pressure on my opponent because he goes for a stargate play. So last game we saw more of a gateway focused into third base. This game we're going to see more of um more of some <laughs> ah erect. More of some uh, mutalist game, uh, more of a Stargate gameplay, and how I deal with that. So I have an Overlord here, morphing uh, roaches at home, free roaches, the same as I do with the free roach opener. I always try to, I, I sadly attack the gateway, but you should always try to kill the cybernetic score. If your opponent knows that the push is coming, which, we, which is what we're having in this game, he sees the push coming. I once again moved across the map, morphing Ravagers. At home, I'm droning up. I'm focusing more on the macro at home right now. Also, there is this annoying adept that I have to deal with. On the front line, I'm putting pressure on him with my Roach Ravager. Snipe, snipe. And I'm trying to... So the way I place my boss is I pile him exactly here. You want to... But put the pile about here, right? So if he has a unit here, it gets hit. If it is here, it gets hit. And else I try to hit the cybernetic score. If I can snipe the cybernetic score, I'm in a really good position. He's producing a lot of uh, units right now, which puts him behind. Um, as you can tell, he's not building workers. I already pulled ahead in workers. So the build has already been a huge success. Right? The Protoss is, uh, is getting behind economically. I even was, I was even able to hit a pile there. Uh, my units then, as soon as he has more or a similar amount of stalkers as, as I have Ravagers, I just pull home. Once again, I started my third base. This game I'm delaying my lair a little bit because I want to... Um, I figured... I kind of felt that he was going for a Stargate play. Again, Stargate... I, I, I have no confirmation, right? It was just... Uh, it was like a feeling based on the units that he built. If my opponent goes for a Stargate play, I want to go for a um, fast... Plus one melee, I'm getting my lair now. And then, uh, as, so I went link speed into lair, into plus one melee very soonish. He has an adept here that he's still poking around with. I'm gonna shut that one down. He moves across the map with a void ray. And this looks kind of like a normal CVP right now, right? The third player has his lair done. I'm already ahead in workers. My opponent starts his third base. He is going for a fleet beacon stargate. So this game is going to be a lesson learned in many ways for you guys. So I'm, what I usually do is, around the before I fully saturate my third base, I make a huge spot of links and try to deny my opponent's third base if he goes for a stargate. That that works most of the time. So around 35 drones, I build a round of links, like maybe 20, 40 links, and I try to deny his third base. He takes the third base over here and I did not even consider that a possibility at this point. I was like, well, he should have taken it there because he had the Void Ray there as well. Now keep in mind, my opponent is carrier rushing me. And my anti-air is, I didn't build the Baning Nest because I figured, well, if all the air units that he's building is one Void Ray, there is no way he's going to um, try and rush me with a Void Ray, right? Uh, there's no way he's going to Stargate. Well, I was, well, I'm wrong. I'm 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 fucking wrong because right here is where I where I see his carriers for the first time. Panic mode. This isn't so much about the free road rush anymore against Protoss. This is now a lesson on how we deal with a guy that goes two base carriers into third base when you have no anti air besides uh, three queens. So immediately all my queens are pulled to my to my uh, third base. I'm gonna start a spire in my main base, as far away from the carriers as I possibly can. With all my units, I try to attack him. I have to clean this up. If if I don't clean this up, I need to stop him from mining at his third base. Because if he gets into an into a good position economically, I'm I'm gonna be boned. 
I keep building queens, 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 queens. I think I'm gonna take a fourth base as well. I'm not quite certain, but you can tell like I have money. I could also build mass spores right now, but the way I like to deal with this is I just build queens and I get gas. And as soon as my spire is done, I start spamming corruptors. But right now you still see I'm still, I'm still spamming links. I'm still harassing him over here. I know his carriers are killing my links, but um, I just have to somehow do economic damage to him. And if if he sends all these carriers across the map, I'm, I'm in huge, I have huge trouble. So, I'm as soon as my spire is done, I start spamming corruptors. I was just trying to somehow survive until corruptors. He's killing a lot of my overlords here. Very tough for me. But then my corruptors are out, and we eventually go across the map and in house. You, you. You, you. That's it. That's the game. So the free <clears throat> the free road rush, right? How does it work? I make um ravagers to try and put pressure on my opponent's buildings, grown up greedily, get a lair. If my opponent, if I see a, an option to go for Mutalisk, I go for Mutalisk. If I don't see an option to go for Mutalisk, I just flood them with links. But the free, roach, uh, free Ravager Rush really allows you to put a lot of pressure on your opponent. And if you can sni snipe the Cybernetic Score, you're going to be in an amazing position. Hope you guys are going to enjoy uh, playing this build on ladder. And I wish you all a uh, good day. It's very late where I live right now. Right. For me, it's a good night. For you guys, good day.